Hello, it's Snowball Monster. This is the start of my new Jewel Nail series and it is inspired by the beautiful characters from the series Land of the Lustrous. This Jewel Nail series is perfect for those looking for color suggestions for cosplay and those searching to create jewel-like nail art designs. Let's kick off the series with the main character, Foss Fafelite, who also goes by Foss for short. This video is segmented into three parts, polish recommendations, special effects, and a tutorial with the tutorial being rated at 2 stars in terms of difficulty. Let's begin! Lack of recommendations. My number 3 recommendation is Naughty Nautical by Essie. Naughty Nautical is a bluish teal with flecks of silver suspended throughout the polish that gives it extra shine and depth when applied to the nails. The color is accurate to the color seen in the bottle, and it has a formula that is extremely easy to work with. Two or three coats will be enough to get full coverage. Naughty Nautical's price typically ranges from 5 to 9 USD, and is easy to find online and in stores despite being from the 2013 Summer Collection. Even though this teal color is darker compared to Foss's hair color, I thought I would include this as an option for those of you who interpret Foss's hair color to be more like an ocean blue. My number 2 recommendation is My Dog Sled is a Hybrid by OPI. My Dog Sled is a Hybrid is a muted mint with a cream finish. The color seen in the bottle is also an accurate representation of how the polish looks after application. Its formula is also super easy to work with and dries pretty quickly. I apply 3 thin coats on my nails for complete coverage. My Dog Sled is a hybrid is slightly more expensive and is generally priced at 8 to 12 USD. I'm not sure if it's easy to find, but it should be as it's labeled as a classic shade on the OPI website. My Dog Sled is a hybrid would work well for those of you wanting to match the colors from the manga which looks more washed out compared to the highly saturated look of the anime. This polish is a good option if you are unable to find a color similar to my next recommendation. My number one recommendation is Whoopsie Daisy by Kiara Sky. Whoopsie Daisy is a minty aqua with an ever so slight greenish gold shimmer. It actually doesn't happen often, but for the third time, the way this polish looks in the bottle is also what it'll look like applied on the nails. The formula is slightly thick, but still a smooth enough consistency for easy application. This polish will require 2-3 to three coats to achieve good opacity. Whoopsie Daisy is priced around 6-9 to nine USD and I haven't seen Kiara Sky's regular polishes being sold for more than 10 USD online. I don't think it's from any specific collection, and you can easily purchase this polish from the Kira Sky website. Moving on to the next section, we have special effects. My single recommendation for this section is Green Ocean by Simple Colors. Green Ocean is a green jelly polish packed with blue iridescent flakes. Jelly polishes are not opaque and require many, 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 many coats to achieve full coverage. This polish is actually easy to build up and would look great even over other green polishes if you don't want your bare nails to be visible. Green Ocean is super affordable, priced at 1 to 2 USD, but I'm not sure of how easy it will be to find because it is from the 2018 St. Patrick's Day collection. Check out your local drugstore to see if it's in stock. Green Ocean's formula is thick and difficult to get an even coat with, but it dries quicker than most budget polishes I have swatched. The green colors on the nails also look more like a lime green than a bluish green as it does in the bottle. But the iridescent blue flakes help to give the overall effect to match Boss's color better. Now it's time for the tutorial. If you're comfortable with nail art, I recommend trying this out. I'm going to do this on my natural nails, but feel free to do them on fake nails and apply them after you've worn your cosplay. The tutorial itself isn't difficult, but it will require more than your usual base coat, colored polish, and top coat. I actually won't be using any colored polishes at all for this tutorial. Instead, you'll need these green flakes. I bought these from Ocean Nail Supply, but they are relatively easy to find online from multiple sellers. 
So let's begin. First, apply base coat. If you're using fake nails, feel free to skip this step. Once the base coat dries, apply a layer of top coat. If you're using fake nails, I still recommend doing this step. On a piece of foil, pour some top coat and iridescent flakes, then quickly coat the flakes with the top coat. I'm using an old top coat here that's going bad and a $1 Wet n Wild angled liner brush. Once everything is coated, quickly pick up the mixture and pat it onto the nail. These pieces are super chunky so the final product will be textured. to touch, pat with a clean finger or a new eyeshadow applicator to flatten out the surface. The top coat should still be malleable at this point. Add a final layer of top coat to seal everything in. Cut the flakes sticking out of the edge of the nail for a cleaner look, and after the top coat has dried completely, we are done! Yay! The nails do look extremely textured up close because these flakes are meant to be used with gel, but they actually look nice from a distance. I did some camera tests by taking selfies and they look great in photos. They also remind me of the first time we see Foss shatter into bits and pieces. Let's recap. The polish recommendations are Naughty Nautical by Essie, my Dog Sled is a Hybrid by OPI, Whoopsie Daisy by Kiara Sky, and Green Ocean by Sinful Colors. Which of these colors are your favorite? And if you have any recommendations for polishes that you used for your cosplay, please share them down in the comment section below. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you guys in my next one!